Hi everyone, so yeah, we are back for part 2 and let's just click on that. So like what uh, Bishop says, you are you guys are right on time. <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, we shall be uh, sort of doing battle with Bishop and uh, Sabertooth. So uh, perhaps uh, we can start off with uh, Dr. Octopus straight away. Uh, if we can showcase the power lock. And after that, uh, we will showcase the heal block for Sabertooth. But actually, most of the time, if you forgot about it, you will actually trigger your armor up instead because you will be constantly uh, sort of attacking the opponent. So, let's... Okay, so you see, because I block first, uh, it sort of triggers the... the heal block on him. Okay, so you see, while getting struck, you will... take the... Okay... Uh, okay, we didn't get to... showcase the power lock over here. So uh, no worries, a video uh, as mentioned in the previous video will be included at the back of this video uh, to sort of showcase the fight between uh, Dr. Octopus and uh, Magic. So yeah, uh, but uh, this gives us an idea of how we should fight Saber 2. We should just start off with um, blocking to trigger the heal block and after that we could uh, use a special one to sort of refresh. Cause otherwise, uh, the heroic saber two is not that bad. Uh, if that's uh, it's also one of the main reason why I haven't uh, sort of completed my uncollected map is because the saber two the the amount of regen stack that it has is uh, sort of crazy. I think I tried nullifying it uh, using uh, fits you. I think well, I think ghost rider fits you. Okay, so uh, we trigger the soft uh, power lock instead. So uh, you you see uh, how how it triggers is actually uh, very important. You have to do the okay shit. You have to be aware of what you are doing in order to trigger the function that you solve one. So you see, uh, getting hit will actually trigger the armor up. While uh, what we wanted was actually more of uh, to block it. So we trigger the heal block, so we shall just block, and yeah, you see, uh, it triggers the heal block, so yeah, with special 1, it refreshes the duration of the debuff. So that was uh, still a relatively easy match, as uh, I took a lot of damage um, while trying to explain, but uh, as you can see, the fight is not difficult. But on the other hand, uh, with the uncollected one, as the, ma the matches uh, drags out, he regens a lot, and also if you refuse to attack him, he will uh, spontaneously sort of uh, convert some of his fury to permanent fury. So there was one match where, actually I only fought him once, but in that match, uh, one of my heroes sort of uh, baited him for a while. However, he suddenly gained, I think like 7... To, uh, 11 sort of permanent fury and while blocking the damage that took like about 25% of my health so yeah that was uh, quite quite painful so okay uh, perhaps a look at uh, sort of the next video that uh, I might upload no I will upload so uh, I'm really trying to save the crystal shards to be about 100 uh, however, I hasn't really have the time to be doing a lot of arena, so uh, actually doing more on the uh, sort of five, the one where you could uh, potentially have a six star shard as a reward. Yeah, but uh, for that they actually give a premium hero crystal as it is. So yeah, we have some stored out over here. However, we want to get the amount of shards to be hundred, so we can sort of uh, take a look at the drop rate. So yeah, the drop rate that uh, they said over here is a 2%, which is a lot higher than what was shown in uh, one of the previous video, whereby they opened 2,000, uh, sort of, what was it, 1,000? Yeah, they, they opened a 1,000 premium hero shards crystal, and the percentage shown was only a 0.6%. Okay, however, there is the condition where this is a drop rate for an individual crystal so that means uh, no matter how much you open let's say you open 10 the 
it's not a sort of a overall increase where it becomes 20% so that you have a one fifth chance to getting one within those batch of crystal it's just per crystal is 2% so yeah as you could see we use up our 4 and 5 star resources okay today was um, the day where we receive a fully formed Grandmaster crystal so yeah, not much. Oh, yeah. So we are we'll be waiting to open this too, and yeah, it's a unit save up. So we will wait for the featured Grandmaster Crystal. Hopefully, it appears on Friday or something, so we could open them together. So yeah, that's about that. So I ranked up my Domamu to rank five fifty. He's uh in war. I'm trying to rank up my. Mudo, which uh, pro uh, gotten from the previous video to rank 4 as well so yeah those two together it will be good oh and uh, actually I found out that uh, for Hood uh, uh, it was actually only on the 4 star variant and above Hood itself will have a dark empowerment uh, with Domamu which uh, also increase the chances of, uh, sort of reviving so villain characters at 10% health so if we were to use the three of them together which is a uh, Mudo, Domamu and uh, Hood together that means they have a 40% chance to uh, revive whenever they are sort of uh, knocked out at 10% health so yeah just now the video was uh, relatively long uh, if you all like you could actually just um, start over here but for more detailed explanation uh, on sort of their synergies uh, not synergy. Uh, yeah, Doctor Octopus, the sort of ability after awaken is in the first part of the video. So in this part of the video, it was just just to showcase Doctor Octopus against Bishop and Sabretooth, as well as after this, there'll be two following videos: one against Magic, uh, vs my Doctor Octopus, and there sh there will be another one which uh is a voucher against another opponent, which I have not yet decided. So yeah, stay tuned to watch those so we can showcase some of their ability and yeah thanks for watching and um, feel free to give us a like and i hope to see you in the next video okay have a good day guys